What is up everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. The first of two zero, wait, that's five. Two zero twenty four. New Scoutly Scout IQ trigger sets for you all to build off of. That is the video today. No cuts, we're just rolling with the punches here. So for me personally, I use Scoutly. I like having the added benefit of being able to scan for FBA and FBM within the same trigger set, but a lot of you use Scout IQ still. There's nothing, you know, there's no wrong choice in the matter, I feel like. But for me, I use Scoutly, so we're gonna start with that trigger set. No nonsense approach. We're getting right into this stuff. As I talk about them, you guys will see them pop up on the screen, so you'll be able to kind of, you know, copy these, but remember, this is a baseline to build off of. The default triggers in Scoutly and Scout IQ suck. I don't care what nobody says. Default triggers, you're gonna lose money. They want you to see more accepts, so it's like a dopamine hit to your brain. That's why I have this baseline trigger set I put out every single year for you to kind of build off of. And remember, these trigger sets have zero buy cost. So you gotta do quick math in your head, adjust this if you wanna put in your average buy cost or a dollar or two dollars. Make sure you put that in these trigger sets. So without further ado, we are starting off with wonderful Scoutly. And since I am quote unquote the used book guy, I guess I'll start out with books. All right, here we go. Up on the screen. Books, we have five triggers. So you see here, the one blue one is the FBM one, right? Trigger two, but we'll get to that when we get there. So trigger one, one to one million rank, $5 profit. Personally for me, $5 is kind of on the fence. You might wanna be at six, you might wanna go down to four. It depends on your business model, but we're not sending in stuff FBA in this range unless it sells once every two weeks. That's what a 12 sales score equates to. So this book's gotta sell every two weeks, one time for us to send it in to be willing to make five dollars remember zero buy cost so include your buy cost uh, make it make sense for you and i do have 35 cents for the fba inbound shipping you could raise this maybe to 50 cents especially if you use inventory placement like myself maybe that's something i should do but it really doesn't bother me that much so five dollars is the lowest i'm willing to let you go now if you look at some of these default trigger sets they're talking two dollars profit three dollars profit i'm just warning you by the time you scan an item today, you scan this book today, you send it in, the price is going to drop. We all know Amazon is a race to the bottom. That's why I think $5 is the lowest I kind of like people to go. Now there are other trigger sets, we'll talk about that later. So 12 up to a million, 12 sales score up to a million, I'll let you make five bucks. Moving on, the second trigger, the only FBM trigger. I do think FBM, is a very important valid part of a media business because you have to get the most money out of your stuff. So this trigger is for the stuff that sells slow, right? Sales count of one, that means it sells once every six months. All the way up to six million, you see we're skipping the FBA slot and we only care about the use slot, right? If we're FBM in it, fulfilling it ourselves, we don't care what the FBA offers. We wanna be the lowest used merchant fulfilled FBM offer. So I'm willing to let you make $10 on that. So if you think $10 is expensive, I just want you to sit back for a second. Think about the cost of a bubble mailer, you know? Uh, think about the cost of your time packing and shipping, dealing with customers when it comes to FBM. So $10 is the minimum I want you to make. Have one bookcase, have it filled with FBM items. That's all you need, just so you don't lose out on some of the slower moving, higher profit items that will sell eventually. Moving on, we have trigger three and four are basically carbon copies besides the profit, right? As we go down in rank, the chance of it selling is less, so we wanna make more money on those items. So if we buy 10 of those items and only six sell, we still come out way ahead, right? It's all a game of numbers and averages. So trigger three, we have minimum sales score of six, sells once a month, right? So, I mean, not a fast mover by any means. I'll let you make $8 up to 3 million rank. <laughs> I'm saying I'll let you, just because I want you guys to get in the habit of not relying on those stupid triggers and starting to chase a little bit of the more profitable items. And in turn, if you don't find as much, but it's more profitable, you'll make more money and you'll do less work. That's what 2023 was for me. 
my revenue was down a tiny bit, but my profit was up 20% because I'm sending in higher ASP items. So get that in your head, chasing that low dollar self. It's just busy work in my opinion, get away from it. So we go down to trigger four, up to 6 million. I don't mess with anything over 6 million. These are FBA triggers, $12 profit. We wanna get from that if we're going to FBA it. Trigger five, I always get this a lot. What is up with trigger five? It's just so everything else is excluded. All of the junk is excluded. So basically this trigger set, anything FBA, it's gotta sell at least once a month. We're not FBA in, you know, a one sales score item. We're not FBA in a three sales score item. All that, you fulfill yourself, you throw it on a bookshelf, and when it sells, you pack and ship yourself. So that's why I like Scoutly. It lets you kind of have a little bit of a different business model than just relying solely on FBA. So that is the book trigger set. We're gonna move right along here. Next up, DVDs. Um, for those that don't know, I've been crushing DVDs and CDs. Uh, DVDs especially so we're looking at five trigger sets so we got one FBA one FBM for each rank category right same thing up to 100k which is probably where a lot of people max out on DVDs personally I think there's a lot of money past 100k but if you just wanted to have this one trigger set up to 100k I'd be fine with it minimum sales count of 12 sells every two weeks I want you to make at least six dollars now this is zero buy cost and I'm here to tell you Depending where you're at, what your prices are, maybe you have to pay $5 a DVD. Okay, well, if you scan something and it says you're gonna make $6 and your buy cost is five, you're not gonna buy that $5 DVD to only possibly make at most $1. So just be wary of this. When you see these profits, this is a baseline for you to go in, build off of, understand your business, but this is at least a baseline where you're gonna be making money when you scan items, unlike the default trigger. So. 12 sales count, maxed out to 100K rank. We go down here, next up is the FBM one, right? So slower moving stuff, under 12 sales count, that's up to 100K rank. I want you to make at least $9 on, factor in the cost of your bubble mail or your time, I'm fine with that. Then we jump down to the higher rank DVDs. So we got 100K to 250K. Six, yet again, I only want you FBA and items that sell at least once a month. I don't want you sending in the stuff that's never gonna sell, bogs down your account, uh, it messes up your IPI and the possibility of losing the buy box. And we all know if you lose the buy box, your business basically goes away overnight. So then we have the FBM for up to 250,000. I want you to make $12 and the FBA for that was $10. So yet again, you can have these built in together with Scoutly. You scan something, it'll pop blue for FBM, it'll pop green, and you can mess with the colors and you don't have to have the message FBA, FBM. You can put whatever you want, like subscribe to the used book guy for green and blue is become a channel member, right? It's whatever you wanna have here, shameless plug. And then we have our, our exclusion trigger, which is always gonna be the last trigger. So anything outside of 250K, we don't wanna touch it, no parts of it, no send it in, zero sales score items. All right, moving on, CDs. It's basically a carbon copy of DVDs. The only thing we change here is the target profit. I get my CDs, I never pay more than a dollar for a CD. So I can lower my profit on the CDs and a $5 profit CD is probably a CD that sells for 12 or $13, believe it or not. So there's a lot of items to be found in this disc media category because the fees are a lot less than books. So if you're not ungated, get ungated. $5 for any CD target profit under 100K. And then we have $9 for FBM, factor in your time, your shipping supplies. We jump down to the slower moving FBA CDs up to 250K. We wanna make $8 and then FBM $12. The last one's an exclusion. And remember, the FBA slot and all the FBA triggers are one. We wanna know when we scan that item at its current lowest price, we're gonna make that estimated profit. And for the FBM, you always skip the FBA slot and you always go with U slot one. So you know, you scanned it at the lowest current price. So when you list it, you can list it at the lowest current price and get the sale. Whew, that was a, that was a mouthful. I need like a breather. Time out on the field. No, we're still going. All right. Now you guys are waiting for the last one for Scoutly and that is going to be the video games. Video games. Sometimes they exist out there in the wild. We're not touching a video game over 100K rank. That's kind of been a good rule of thumb for me. Target profit is $6.
that's probably low because most thrift stores now, even if it's like a random Madden game, they want to charge you five, 10 bucks per game. So you can mess around with these. I just have it set at $6. It probably should be eight or nine or 10, but you can adjust this. Maybe you have thrift stores. Like I have a back room uh, access to a thrift store where they don't sell the video games. So I can just go in the back and get them all for basically a buck or $2 a piece. So $6 is the limit for FBA for video games. $8 is the limit for FBM for video games. We're not touching over anything over 100K rank. Scoutly's done. Also, another shameless plug. If you don't have Scoutly, maybe you're using Scout IQ, maybe you're just getting started. I have a link down in the pinned comment section. If you sign up through my link, I get like $2 a month from your subscription. It basically buys one of my cats a can of food. So look at it this way. You sign up through my link, you feed one of my cats for two or three days, right? So I appreciate anybody that uh, signs up through the link as always. And anybody that signed up over the past year through my Scoutly link, thank you for feeding my fat cats. They do eat a lot. All right, enough of Scoutly. Scoutly, get out of here. Scout IQ, the OG homie G. Scout IQ triggers, here we go. Let me find these things. First up, we're diving into the books. This is gonna look a little bit different than Scoutly, right? We have to do an FBA only model with Scout IQ, which is fine. So you're gonna see a difference here right off the rip in the trigger. So FBA only for Scout IQ. Minimum sales score of 24 up to max is the first trigger, up to a 500K rank. So notice in Scoutly, we were going up to a million. Scout IQ, we're only up to 500K. FBA slot is one as always four dollars profit right so if you're only FBA you have to turn and burn inventory so I, I thought to myself how can this make sense right you don't have an FBM opportunity maybe you don't want an FBM there's nothing wrong with that but we have to still keep cash flow flowing in the business so I created this trigger for the super fast moving stuff right this stuff that sells once a week all the time you know this is the the top of the best fastest selling books you buy it for a dollar you make four dollars profit you turn a dollar into four that's kind of the name of the game with media so that's why i specifically put this one in scout iq and that's why it's different from scoutly because we don't have the fbm play with scoutly so next up we have 500k to a million and that basically is the mirror image of the scoutly one i'll let you make five dollars on that no problem with that and yet again FBA slot one for all FBA triggers because we want to know when we scout an item it's at the lowest price so when we go to list it hopefully we can still make that profit being the lowest price because price is what matters on Amazon we jump down basically carbon copy of the scout lay we have one million to three I'll let you make eight dollars three million to six I want you to make twelve dollars the sales the the e score now goes from sales score to e score you get them mixed up especially somebody like myself who deals in both of these all the time the e score goes from 24 to 6 to 1 so with the scout IQ triggers it is important I have this one in here just so maybe you hit a random book that's really worth a lot of money but it's a super slow mover but as an FBA only business, you still need to see this pop up as green so you can make a decision whether or not you should buy this. Caution, caution, caution. If you buy nothing but one sales score books, your business will probably go under. But this trigger needs to exist for Scout IQ users. So you take a step back, take a second look at that slow moving item to see whether or not you should make the purchase. That's kind of the big disclaimer with the one sales score, e-score, FBA items in Scout IQ. I don't want you just to see that it's green. You automatically buy it. I want you to stop, take a second, analyze it. Am I going to be able to sell this? How many people are selling it? Right? You're not going to send in a one e-score item if there's like 10 FBA offers because if it sells once a month and there's 25 people competing for the sale, it's not likely that you're going to get it. So just have that thought in mind when you see the, the Scout IQ, the one e-score item. So that does the books. Moving on, what do we have? Let's get to the DVDs. Okay, same thing as Scoutly. 12 minimum e score up to max up to 100k six dollars profit and then we don't have the fbm so all we do here is have the second fba trigger which is a minimum e score of six up to 180 up to 250k and then anything after that we have the exclusion trigger so if you scan something out and your screen pops up gray 
that means those items are not in your trigger set. So that's why I had these last triggers in here that look kind of weird, but just so it excludes all of the junk for you and you're not green, blue, gray, purple, orange. It's everything's green or red basically for you for Scout IQ. Now we have the music mirror image of the DVDs. Besides the profit goes down to $5. Second trigger jumps up to $8. Easy peasy music and DVDs. The fees are almost exactly the same when it comes to the size and weight. The CD cases are a little bit heavy, but smaller. The DVD cases are a little bit lighter, but bigger. So the fees are kind of the same with those. Yet again, this is just a baseline for you to build off of. Lastly, video games, same thing. 20 sales score for me. I have this set up up to 100K. I do not currently have the buy box in video games. And that is another thing with all of these triggers, if you are buy box eligible, make sure you are comparing to the buy box. So that's that's all the triggers for you. Now I will say this, um, I do have like scoutly bulk triggers, like if you're doing free pickups or bulk buys. And I also have trigger sets for people that do not have the buy box yet in categories because if you're scanning off the buy box and you don't have the buy box, you're never gonna get the sale at the buy box. So we have those over in the Discord for the measly $2.99 membership. I know, oh my God, dude, you're charging so much for a course, $2.99 for six Zoom calls and a, and a private Discord? I mean, come on, get out of here. So I do have those triggers over in the Discord as well. Maybe in the middle of the year, I'll drop those triggers as a video. But that's it for Scoutly and Scout IQ triggers to start off your year headed in the right direction, which is more profit, not more sales. More sales means nothing, right? More sales, you, can, you could be losing money if you got more sales. I want you all to make more profit. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more used trigger videos. Bye-bye.